Hey, I'm Jim Weber the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So we've got a couple of areas we're watching in the tropics, although they're not in those areas you would typically expect to see this time of the year. Now, as we look across the Caribbean, which is one of the areas you would expect something to be developing in the areas that we watch, all you're seeing are some tropical waves, some very disorganized ones, so nothing to suggest any of that's going to develop over the next several days. But... We're watching this, and actually been watching this for a couple of days, just as disorganized area showers and thunderstorms, and some of the computer models uh, with the European and the GFS have maybe been hinting something may try and develop with this. Right now, the Hurricane Center is actually putting about a 60% chance that we could see some sort of development with this over the next five days. Now, the window is it's kind of closing in on this one because a cold front is going to be working its way across the country and that will eventually sweep this system onto the north. It will kind of merge with that front. And by that point, any chance of it developing would be done with. And also, even if it were to develop, it looks like maybe at best a tropical depression at this point and it would not be affecting the U.S. So no concerns there. You can see that uh, kind of that track area that we may see this uh, working its way over the next several days. So we'll keep you updated on that one. But again, no threat to the U.S. Now, further out into the Atlantic, this has now been designated as Invest 95. And by satellite, it's actually looking a bit more impressive over the past, uh, say, 24 hours. This is going to work its way onto the west over the next several days. But it's important to note all through this area. The water temperatures have actually been running well below average. We've been noting a lot of cooler waters, which is actually kind of coming into play with the lower numbers that we're expecting for the hurricane season, because this is a big factor of some of these cooler temperatures that we've been noting across the tropical Atlantic. That combines with some higher wind shear, especially once it gets closer to the Caribbean. Uh, that's going to really limit this system's ability to develop. But of course, we'll continue to watch both of these, and we'll keep you updated right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.